All right, wanted to drop a video on this ongoing topic that shouldn't even be a topic at this point with humanity. The topic of race, okay? So, doing my research on and off on the subject matter of race relations between black people and white people in uh, America, particularly the South. What I notice is some white people are in constant fear of what black people gonna do because of this or because of that. And it's this wild ass imagination that they have of like black people getting retribution or revenge or something. And I know where it comes from. It comes from guilt. But if something was gonna happen, it would have been happening. If black people was gonna do something super, super crazy, it would have been happened. We live next door to you. We work with you. We, uh, at one point when we were slaves, we lived in your backyard. In some cases, in your house. If something was going to happen, it would have been happened. So, black people be your slave and they can live in the backyard with you. Then when slavery over, you don't even want, want them nowhere near your house. Matter of fact, you want them way off in a whole nother community because of some fear that you in because of the guilt and carried into present day. People nowadays are always like, oh, we don't know what they're going to do subconsciously. But you can hear it come out when they talk and when they say certain things like the Confederate monuments were removed. White dude come on uh, on the radio. It's not more than it's more than one. It's a whole bunch of them. Oh, when they took down the statues, that's dividing the country. When when uh, Obama do something, that's dividing the country. Whenever somebody do something in favor for the black man, some magical way, that's dividing the country. How the hell is dividing the country? I don't get it. If you help another person out, that's black. Uh, uh, uh taking away certain races, uh, laws, a certain. Um, racist monuments and stuff like that That's unifying the country That's making things even But in their in they mind they like That's 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 dividing people And causing uh, Like like uh, strife and conflict Like nobody not beefing over that And And if you beefing Because a confederate monument Came down or some law That was clearly written in the books to hurt black folks if that law is removed and you're mad about that then something wrong with you you know it, it just it's just mind boggling that white people not all some white people are still in constant fear of what the black man's gonna do to them if something was gonna happen it would have been happening and the most ironic thing is the actual slaves that was beaten and tortured and killed and had the roughest life imaginable they were forgiving too and know how i know that because i heard the words of slaves there are recordings out there of people that were slaves that were the audios recording like the, the um, 1930s and the 1940s that a work program that the president implemented to kind of give jobs to uh, families and so america get back rolling again that money set aside for that so they was trying to employ employ one person out of each household. I don't know if it was all across the board for black families and white families. I'm pretty sure it's for mostly white families to make sure everybody had a job. One person had a job in the household during the depression. So basically, that's how the audio, um, the, the recordings was made because they just paid some white dudes to go across the country and interview ex-slaves. And it was, you know, 50 something years after the fact. But they'll go around interviewing them, ask them, how were you, how was your life as a slave? And in all the interviews, none of them was speaking with uh, strife in their voice. None of them was angry. They just was describing what they went through. Some of these people lived to be 90 years old, 100 years old, ex slaves. And it was describing what their life was like as a slave and what happened to them. But none of them was angry about it. And want revenge Even when you hear my daddy talking about his plantation life You don't hear any anger in his voice He's just describing what happened to him on a plantation So that's the evidence right there That be 
black people that's been directly affected by racism cool calm and collective they just want to live their life and enjoy their life and be happy but for some reason white folks think blacks want revenge are going to get revenge because of their guilt it's crazy right 